fish. What are we trying? What is that? Just, uh, never heard of this before. I can't it's pronounce it. Of, uh, that means I ain't drinking it. That's all I know. But I've never seen that in my entire life. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're at my cousin's apartment. And uh, we're, we, we've got some festivities going on. I don't know if you guys can tell all the way down there. That is a room my cousin played game in. That's also a room where he lay his head. And uh, it's also a room where he's building a damn engine. Give you guys a quick little scroll through here real quick. This right here is a freshly machined CSS block with a uh, scat rod and super tech 82 mil piston combo. He's got everything all laid out. We're not going to get to this just yet because this video, yes, this video, it's not engine building. This video is going to be a DIY how to polish a crank at home. He's just setting up the light right now so he can see everything a lot better. Uh, right now we're going to be setting up the crank stuff outside so we can make all the mess we want with WD-40. A little table right there. It's a little chilly, but you know, we got the built to drive sweater to keep us nice and warm. If y'all want one, be sure to cop it in the website in the description below. So this little bag right here I brought from home. Except the torque wrench. I'm going to leave that there. This is all the stuff I'm going to be using to uh, polish the crankshaft. And this idea came about with a little bit of research on YouTube. The way that I'm gonna show you is the same way I did it on my Type R motor, which I rebuilt, and it's still running perfectly in my car. But now I'm gonna actually show you how I did it because when I showed it in the video when I was doing mine, it was a quick little time lapse, didn't really explain too much, but today, this video, right now, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Guys, if you guys have been seeing the build on Cat's Wagon, it's called the Han and Rona virus uh, build, or at least I'm calling it that. But the term originally came from her, and this t-shirt right here is a sample for her. If you guys like this, let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see this up on the website. I think it's pretty cool, especially with this whole coronavirus thing going on. Let me know. Alright guys, so I got the table set up here. We got two jack stands. A microfiber uh, towel on each end right layered a couple times so that way um, it's nice and thick and it doesn't you know carve into the journals and then we got WD-40 sandpaper a bolt at the end of the crank sorry it's kind of dark and then we got my drill right here with a 19 on it right so I already pre-lubricated this rag um, the journal here. It's not the actual journal where the bearings sit on, but it is a smoother surface to spin on because this has a flat spot. But this one here, smooth all the way around. So, pretty much what it is is you know, you run the drill, this thing will spin. We'll probably do two people to ensure, you know, we're not going to drop it or whatever the case is because it is kind of sketched that it's only one side, nothing else is holding the top. If you spin it too fast, it'll just want to want to roll off you know what I mean so pretty much that's the rig we're gonna get some shoelace or an old t-shirt cut a long piece out of it cut these guys into strips which you can see right here they're already strips in it and cut it to the length of the journal give it a few seconds in between see how much it cuts and then we'll know how much we can do uh, as far as revolution or second wise for each of the journal and each one of these journals are gonna go through uh, two stages 600 and then a thousand and you know that's pretty much how we're gonna DIY polish our crank okay I think I think we're ready to do this so I apologize for the low lighting I got my my little uh, gorilla pot in between my armpits but pretty much I'm cutting these little strips of 600 grit uh, to about the width of the uh, journal and you know this this one this one strip right here probably go through like half and use the other strip for the other half we didn't really use too much uh, the sandpaper but we did do two cranks you know the engine that my cousin built for his brother and the engine that's in my CRX so um, cut these strips out right here and oh well there's there's some light all right that kind of sort of works a little bit we'll just move it <laughs> we'll just move it to whichever journals in frame That'll work too. We're gonna to start off with 600. We've seen a lot of tutorials that start off with six to a thousand, but it also comes down to how bad your journals are. This journal didn't spin in the motor that it came out from, so um, you know it's pretty much good the way it sits. But we're definitely gonna polish it out a little bit to give it a much better uh, surface before installing it. Um, so here is 600. We're gonna be doing the mains and then the rod journals right here. So pretty much, pretty simple. You take 
the uh, strip of sandpaper, right? You loop it around the journal, lubricate it with some WD-40. This may not look like WD-40, but trust me, it is because it says so. And uh, you take a piece of shirt, cut it up to a nice size strip to the same size as a journal, kind of. And then you um, loop that with the sandpaper and one person is going to hold it in place while i run the drill give it a couple seconds see how much it chops how much it cleans up that journal and then we'll just keep it the same for each journal the tricky one is this guy because this thing spins offset it you know but these guys are easy because they are all in line so i'm gonna go ahead and just set that up real quick and get rolling on this <laughs> i guess this is like a first person view but i'm not going to talk because my face is literally right in front of the microphone so you want to just do one at a time, Dan? We got two hands, so it's gonna be we'll it's gonna one. be quicker. We'll do one first, and then we'll. All it. right. It's gonna get a little messy because WD-40. Go ahead and just lubricate this up real quick. Doesn't hurt to use a lot. More lubrication, the better. Do we do it this way or this way? Which way? Which is it spinning? This way. So we would go Over. this way, right? Yeah. yeah. So this strip is a little bit bigger, but. Once this paper gets all soggy, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do no damage. The goal here is to not get it super tight. You just need to be nice and tensioned. So when we spin the crank, it spins freely. So I'm gonna go ahead and just run this first one real quick. Get a little WD-40 in there, right? Start off slow, all right? It's pretty much all it is. I'm not counting, so you tell me when to stop. Oh, fuck. Trigger finger, sorry. <laughs> yeah, this drill is super, <laughs> super inconsistent. What is going on here? I'll probably just put it on low. Because I was triggering in and out, that's why. You gotta make sure that this doesn't fall off the jack either, because once the shit goes, it's gonna run. How long though? Tell me. Should be good. You wanna check it? So we're gonna check it real quick and see how much it really cut into the uh, material. I mean, you can see it's already getting polished out, and it's super smooth. So. I mean, we were so inconsistent on the count on that one, but you guys get the idea, right? So we're going to go ahead and just like run through this and then uh, we'll pick back up on the next grit. But we're going to go through each and every one of these real quick. I think this one came out the cleanest because this was the freshest grit, but all these other ones came out super smooth as well, too. And uh, this is only 600 grit right now. We haven't done these guys yet because this one is going to be a pain because, like I said, it's offset it. But uh, we are definitely going to finish with a thousand on my crank. I polished it out with Mother's Aluminum Polish, but I didn't bring that in the box that um, he picked up yesterday. So we're probably not going to polish it. But then again, the way we're doing it here is the same way he did it on his brother's car. And his car is running perfectly fine, has no issues whatsoever. And he did it by hand too. We're doing this by the <laughs> by this rig that we got set up. So we're gonna go ahead and knock this out real quick, guys, and then uh thousand grit. I don't know how much I caught for you guys on that last clip, but uh it was super sketched. The uh, the rope, the string kept somehow transferring over to this. <laughs> So we're gonna do it by hand. We got two people here anyways. I think we can knock it out pretty quick. But definitely the mains, we're gonna run it on drill because you know they're in line, so it's not offset. It's not gonna do what it was doing a minute ago. But uh, we're just gonna go ahead and just manually hand do that 600,000. That looks just like this one. Yeah, see that little bronze in the middle is gone. It's very important to get the full like width of the rope, string, whatever it is you're using. Shoelace preferably. Shoelace, like fat laces. 
you want to make sure that your rope, your string, your lace is covering up the whole journal so that you're not scratching like a, how do you say it? like you're digging deeper on one side than the other side so that's very important. Long strokes, slow and steady, doesn't win the race but slow and steady in this case we give it a nice cut. When you're going so fast you're just like glazing over it. Probably give it a good like minute arm workout I guess. Dancing, playing drums. On fire. I think the tequila is coming here. <laughs> he came to say hello. <laughs> <laughs> I ran out of breath at that. <laughs> right here, guys. Right here is the finished 1000 grits after the 600. Now, it is optional if you want to polish it out with the mother's aluminum polish to get it really nice and like chromey, you know. But this, this is exceptional. This is 100% perfectly fine. So, I guess all we're going to do now is clean this up and we're going to cut this vid out right here. This crank is going to be used in a few minutes. We're going to grub real quick and then uh, if you guys want to stick around for the engine building video, which is going to go down after we eat. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. But if you guys enjoyed this video as well too, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. Also, merch, link below. Cop some now, support your boys, support us, support the channel. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.